being an Israelite is being one of the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. That's what an Israelite is. Well, if that were true, then it would just simply be a matter of genetics. It is. So the chosen people would be a family. And everyone outside of that family would be essentially doomed. Essentially ding, doomed, ding, if ding, that's ding, true. Ding, ding, ding. Yep. Right. And now the problem with that is that if I am not a member of that community, yes, you're not. Then it's clear to me who my enemy is. It's clear ding, to it's, ding, yes. Ding, yes. Ding, and the Israelites ding, would be your enemy. Ding, ding. That is the. That is the smartest thing I heard a European Caucasian say. So I don't have a problem with you being my enemy. You don't have. How do you feel about me being your slave master? That's fine. Do you have a problem with bowing down to your slave masters? So can you bow down to your slave masters? It's, it's a hard fucking pill to swallow, I'll tell you that. I mean, we had to do it, you know. All praise. Uh, right. My people done been through the fire, so you know we're not new to the flame. Got comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah, niggas got used to the pain. Call us niggas and they call us spits. Yeah, niggas got used to the name. Only thing that a nigga ain't used to, it is crack to let loose to the chain. Told. That was our ancestors that was sold. That was our relatives that was prophesied. Everything about us foretold. And we like wanna be our clones. We're the ones that was written in the scrolls. Over the year 118. We're the fire east saw you the call. Where you from? Uh from Delaware. Your nationality. Uh, I guess I'm from uh, uh Scottish. Scottish? Yeah. Right. So you believe in the Bible? You do? You believe in some of the Bible? We, be, we believe totally in this Bible because the Bible said that these things will happen, happen to us. Right. This Bible is written for a certain group of people. This Bible is, is the records of the Israelites. And the Israelites are here today, but they're not being called Israelites. Yeah. Right? They're being called black. Black is the color of a crayon box. They're being called Hispanic. Hispanic is just means property of Spain. Yeah. They stole our identity. They stole our land. So let me show you what the Bible says should happen to what they did to us. Right. It's Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity. Do you agree that the European, Caucasians, even the Scottish, even the Italians, even the French, the who else? Irish. The Irish, right? English. These, these people all led blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians into captivity and profited off of slavery, chattel slavery. Today. They are continuing to benefit off of the shadow slavery. So those people that lead into captivity, what? Shall go into captivity. That's what real justice looks like, right? So those who led us into slavery, those same people shall go into slavery. They shall go into to slavery for those that were slaves. Right. So many of them already are. They're so many of who? They're uh, the people of uh, owning classes in Europe. Who are they slaves to? That's a good question. They're slaves to their own people? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're slaves to another people that, that right. are not our people. Right. And that that's a little easier to deal with. Yeah. What is being enslaved by your own people than when, being enslaved by the non, another nation? When another nation enslaves you, that's a little easier to deal with because you don't you don't you don't like those fuckers. Like that's a different person. That's a different culture. But when you're doing it to yourself, it's like, you don't know who to trust. Yeah. So, so is there any reason why blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, do you have one reason why we should trust any European Caucasians? Just one reason. I think, I think your, your own faith is a, a sacred, sacred uh, our own faith in what? what is it? uh, our faith in, in, in careful with your pay I, I just hurt. I think you should every single human person to be careful in who they believe who should who should blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans believe because I'm asking you can you give me one reason why we should 
why we should trust European Caucasians? Yeah, that, that was a direct question. Uh, Do we have a reason or no? I think proof is in the pudding. If, uh, if you trust someone and they honor you, keep trusting that person. But you're still, you're still invading the question. Is there any reason? What reason do blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians have to trust the European Caucasians, the people that's over us, the people that's implementing laws on us, the, the people that is putting our children in prison? When they right. get results, that's the reason. When you get results from trusting something. So as of right now, we have no results, so we shouldn't trust them. Right. Right. Should Have you ever given any reason for a black or Hispanic to trust you? What have you ever done for a black or Hispanic that 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 feels the aftermath of slavery while you're actually benefiting off of sleep right. by a being able to walk on his land and you walk past black and Hispanics every day and because of their hard hardcore slavery you're in the position that above them. What have you done for them? I try to acknowledge people, respect first of all. So respect this. I have relationships with people who have benefited from that relationship, and I continue to have relationships with people who are black and Hispanic. So what have you done within that relationship to reconcile for what has been done to them? Right. We lost I everything. Them. Blacks, black, because we, we work. We will bow down to the white man. We, we would actually say, I'm sorry, sir, to you and kill our own people. Right. I see. I see. If you are a, a member of the tribe of Israel, yes, I can trust you, and I trust you. And then, if you betray that trust, you're not in the tribe of Israel. You're so. 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 If an Israelite, out. blacks and Hispanics are Israelites, right. and you would trust them if they're Israelite. But if they break their trust with you, then they're not a child of Israel. That's what you're saying. Well. There are circumstances that I can understand where someone might be led astray or deceived by some situation. I can accept someone who's not necessarily perfect, but so if you if you if you are intentionally deceiving another member of the tribe, it's like. Are you a member of the tribe of Israel? I try my best. How how can how can one be an Israelite? To practice the traditions of. Jesus of Nazareth? Uh, no, um, like a Chinese man, he stays Chinese, right? I can't go to China and become Chinese, right? I think it's a, it's a Jewish tradition. It's a, it's, it's, it's a genealogy. Being an Israelite is being one of the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. That's what an Israelite is. Well, if that were true, then it would just simply be a matter of genetics. It is. So... The chosen people would be a family, and everyone outside of that family would be essentially doomed. Essentially ding, doomed, ding, if ding, that's ding, true. Ding, ding, ding. Yep. Right. And now the problem with that is that if I am not a member of that community, yes, you're not. Then it's clear to me who my enemy is. It's clear ding, to it's, ding, yes. Ding, yes. Ding, and the Israelites would be your enemy. Ding, ding. That is. The that is the smartest thing I heard a European Caucasian say. Cut. Yes. Cut. We have no reason to trust the European Caucasians, right. and you agree that we are your enemy. Yes. 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 All so, praise to the Most High God. All praise. Amen. So, so the relationship is clear. I love my enemy. I am a member of the Son of Israel in my heart. And you are a member of the Tyrus in your heart. No, not in my heart. This is our. This is this is dealing with an ethnicity. Oh, sure. Right. We are we are Israelites because we are Israelites and we can't what change that. Yeah. Sorry, just, sir. We're having a the dialogue here. I just disagree with you, but that's okay. Uh, we can get into that, right? Matter of fact, matter of fact, let's get into that. Let's get into Exodus one and one. I'm gonna show you. Sir, I'm getting rain now, man. Come under here. Yes. Thank uh -huh. you, sir. What are you guys Exodus doing here? One. Yes. Bring it up. This is Exodus 1 from the top. Now these are the names of the children of Israel. These are the names of the children of Israel. Jacob's name was changed to Israel when he fought the angel, right? Which came into Egypt. These are children of Israel, right? They came into Egypt. Every man 
and his household came with Jacob, right? Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, Benjamin, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. These are the 12 children of Israel, right? These make up the 12 tribes, right? Keep going. And all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob. All the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob came out of the semen of Jacob. Were 70 souls. For Joseph was in Egypt already. Right. And Joseph died and all his brethren and all that and all that generation. And the children of Israel were fruitful, were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceedingly mighty. And the land was filled with them. Right. Let's go to Romans 9 and 5 because this is dealing with an ethnicity. This is dealing with the children. Right. So this can't be a spiritual thing. I can't spiritually say that I'm an Israelite. I can't say that I'm spiritually Chinese because I conform to Buddhism. Right. I will still be a, a, a so-called Hispanic in America. What's up, King? All praises. All right. Bring that out. It's Romans 9 and 5. KJV. KJ. All right. It's Romans 9 and 5. Who's, this is Paul talking, so we're in the New Testament then, right? Just just so we can gain understanding. Go ahead. Because the Bible never changed, God never changed, and Christ never changed. Go ahead. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh? Whose are the fathers and whose are concerning the flesh? Christ came. Right. Who is over all? God blessed forever. Amen. Right. So Christ came to the Israelites of those of court pertaining to the flesh. So just because we serve Christ or we believe in Christ doesn't make us an Israelite, right? So go back to Gen um, Genesis, Genesis 12 and 3. Because, because we're your enemy, right? So there's nothing that you would want to do for us, right? See, but the thing is, it's not us that you need to worry about. It's our God that you would have to worry about. Because right. it's our God that is known by his judgments. Right. Right? Exactly. And, and we see judgments coming to America because we see us coming back to the obedience of the Most High God. Right. right. It's not just us. We're all over America keeping these law, statutes, and commandments and teaching this truth about who we are. Right. And what we need to do to get out of the hands of your people. Right. right. Yeah, and I mean, ultimately, I feel that our God is the same God and that that truth will come to you, but... Let me get you Joel 10 to, to be there yet. It's fine. You know, so I, I don't have a problem with you being my enemy. You don't have. How do you feel about me being your slave master? Uh, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Do you have a problem with bowing down to your slave masters? So can you bow down to your slave master? It's, it's hard fucking pill to swallow. I'll tell you that. I mean, we had to do it. So are you willing to do that? Can you bow down to your slave masters? I can. Go ahead. I do. I, I, I want see see we speak see right see but see that's the thing our people see they have a sweet word. This is how y'all came to the America with a with a with a deceiving tongue and it sounded good. You uh, rubbed us in the back and the I stab can, us. I can bow to you. I'll bow. Yeah. How about you get on your knee and bow to your slave master like how your slave master is ordering you to do? Well, you won't do that, right? I mean, am I your slave right now? I don't think so. If I was enslaved, I would bow down, but... It, it, it'll just you know, show some appreciation. I do appreciate my freedom. It, no, it, it'll yeah. just show some... Yeah. You know? All oh, praise. Uh -huh. All right. So let me get let me get that in, in Genesis. Matter of fact, let me get that, because you said something. Can you fix this for me? This is Joel 2 and 27. And ye shall know... Right, we're going to know, because you said... Our God is everybody's God, right? So we would have to see the Bible substantiating that. Or if we're saying that our God is not the God of everybody, then we should see God substantiating that in the Bible, right? Go ahead. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. So we're going to know, everybody is going to know that the Most High God is in the midst of Israel. This is not, not in the midst of everyone. Do you think that the prophets that wrote down this scribe, you think that they were confused? No? Okay. And yeah. that I am the Lord, your God. So God is the God of those he's in the midst of, and he's in the midst of the Israelites. And none else. And none else. 
and my people shall never be ashamed. But we're never going to be ashamed because we are, people would be ashamed and look at us for prophesying to the wind, right? Coming out here looking like fools talking about God because nobody care about God. But we're not going to be ashamed because God is in the midst of us and us only and no one else. Let me get Genesis 12 and 3. Because what you have, what you've done by bad, taking a knee, right? By you taking a knee to us, right? In the grand scheme of things, that has done nothing for us and that has done nothing for our nation. And according to what you told us, you have done nothing for our people or our nation besides having a relationship and showing some, re and you showing respect like that matters. All right. Right? Go ahead. This is Genesis 12 and 3. And I will bless them that bless thee. Right? God is going to bless those who bless us. Right? So we, you can agree that no European Caucasian has ever blessed a black or Hispanic. They probably blessed us with whips and, and lynches and, and said, blessed be the God, right? That's what they did when they brought Christianity over here. Right? But as, as you, your people has never done nothing for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians as a collective. So how can your people receive a blessing? How can you think that your people will receive a blessing when you never bless God's chosen people who are blacks and Hispanic? Keep going. It says, and I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse of thee. Right? The Most High God is going to curse those who curse us. Right? Y'all call us niggas. Right? Y'all call us spicks, wetbacks. Right? Y'all call us a property, not a people. Porch monkeys. I mean, that's yeah, those are slurs, but a curse, I think, it's a, it's when you are in chains, when you got a yoke of iron on your neck, when you're getting put on cargo slave ships, when you're getting sold on Black Friday, and your children are being sold for cheap. That's a curse. Like, when when, well, when you have hard. hangings of our people on a tree, and you take a picture and send it as a postcard to your friend a couple states away. When you, when you have a picnic, what's that I, mean? I can see Pick like a nigga. Curse. Right. A curse is like a gift. I mean, a gift is, is like a blessing, and a, a curse is like a, a, an injury. It's similar, but they're not the same thing. But I guess you could say, you could say that they're basically the same. No, you just said a curse is an injury. So a curse is an injury? Yeah. Well, in my no, mind, a curse. a curse and a blessing are more of a spiritual thing, but I understand it makes sense. I can go with that. But I, I mean, I feel like you can't necessarily say that all people of the Caucasian, you know, gen genesis or, or genealogy are guilty of, of never having blessed the people of the genealogy of Israel. Just to say, that doesn't seem like the truth. Right, so, but they, they had, there was never a sacrifice made. So all the people, they're all benefiting, right? They can right. hide in the shadows and not do nothing all they want, but all they're doing is reaping a blessing of our curse, right? So let's go to let's go to Isaiah um, 42 and it's after 22 um, prepared. Right? You know what I'm talking about? Isaiah 42 and 22? No, damn, past 22. I got you, I got you. Watch this. I'm about to show you something. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you what God told us to do. Let me get Isaiah 14 and 21. So like Because you said not all the children of, of, of those who did that to us, right? right? Right. Matter of fact, matter of fact, before that, let me get, let me get Exodus 34 and 7. Because I'm going to show you. Exodus. 34 and 7. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah. Keeping mercy. I'm going to get an NLT. NLT? It's Exodus 34 7. I lavish unfailing love to thousands, to a thousand generations. So God will love us for a thousand generations, but for us to love God, we got to keep his commandments and we haven't been doing it. Go ahead. I forgive iniquity, rebellion. Right, he forgives sin, rebellion. And sin, uh -huh. but I do not 
excuse the guilty. Right, he doesn't excuse the guilty. And you, your people have filled this land with blood. You, your people are guilty with blood, right? Go ahead. I lay the sins of the parents. Right, up. The God lays the sins of the parents to who? Upon their children. Upon the children. And grandchildren. Right, so you would you would agree that you are the child and grandchild of your forefathers that raped, robbed, murdered, and enslaved us. Right? Go ahead. The entire family is affected. Your whole entire family is affected. Go ahead. Even children in the third and fourth generation. So he's not going to forget. Just because your forefathers did it don't mean that you don't have to pay. Well, up to five generations. Right. Well, let's see. It says Isaiah 14 and 21. You are the grandchildren and children of these people. And it wasn't long ago. Well, I mean, it uh, wasn't long ago. Even after slavery. Even after slavery. What you have? I think, Lynchings. I think it's important to, to acknowledge that there are families who have not been, you know, guilty. And, you know, cut five generations away from the guilty are forgiven. They're forgiven? That's what it said? He said... He, no, it said that he lays the sin upon the children of the parents. For sure. To the right? generations. Till five generations out. So, what's five generations? Where would that be today from what you did? From so what you your forefathers your, did? Well, the first generation is your father. Second is your grandfather. Third is your great-grandfather. Fourth is your great great grandfather. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so look. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. The, and the so fifth, fifth is your great 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 great. great, great and great, and what was happening around that time? They took the natives into uh, 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 into slavery along with the Seminole Indians who you would call Hispanic today. Then after that, they took the Negroes, which will only still go into your great 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 grandfather. What they did. And after. So so now you're still here. Reaping the benefits of all the shit that they did, and even after that, you you can't even stop. You gotta you gotta move they it down. The, you gotta move it down because then they did redlining, then they did lynching, then they would. So it's still it, it's still to this day that you have the police force. Yeah, now going around and doing the shit. So right. y'all never stop. The last official so KKK you can't even go back. was in 1981. You have wow. to we know there were more. I was yeah. 15 years old. That's and the last recorded. That's the last recorded official KKK was in 1981, which is in my generation when I was 15. Right. Also, after they freed the... We're, we're, we're not even a generation away, right? After that, it's supposedly after they freed the slaves uh -huh. in 1865, yeah. then they went to South America and started shipping them to Spain. And, and, and I just found that out a couple of weeks ago. I got to do more research on that. Right, so you still, you still fall. You South fall America. in within that five and generations. Shipping the Spanish and, people and, and, down and south. And you can't even wow. say down fall because you resetting every time up to this time. They just found uh, uh, Republicans talking about lynching and killing niggers who we who you say we should go into politics and do that, but they still got racist KKK and politics has been all over the news. Yeah. Talking about, oh, the, the sheriff should back. go bring lynching back, back and yeah. kill black people. So yeah. you're not even five or six generations <laughs> removed. You're right. still doing it today. So you right. have to reset every time wow. your people Y'all not away from it. I think if you're using biblical law, then you should use the crimes of the Bible. He it's said, he that, said, that you have to pay for your forefathers. Y'all forefathers still doing it to this day. So right. you have to reset it. You ain't even, you ain't even get the chance to reset it because y'all never stop. They're right. They never stop. But we still have to go to you for permission to drive, permission to hunt, permission to fish, right. for right. water, for food, for clothing. We still have to go to your people. Would you? They put heroin in the street. They put heroin. Yep. To stop the civil rights movement. The CIA put crack. The C this is proven. It's this not is conspiracy. Right. This is not conspiracy. The right. New York Times said it. The Washington Post. They inquire. This is no fact. Right. For the Freedom of Information Act that is released that the CIA flooded the streets in the 1980s with crack cocaine so they could fund an illegal war that Congress did not want to pay the bill mm. so they can use that money from the crack being sold yeah. To, yeah. to overthrow the Nicaraguan yeah. government. Wow. Rick Ross proved it, and, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and this is what I, Rick Ross proved it, and Larry Davis in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. We don't know about Larry Davis, we just know about, 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 Ross. about yeah. Rick Ross. Right, so so is theft a crime in America? Right, how about in the Bible? Yeah. Yeah, 
So if I stole a car and I gave it to my son, will my son be charged for the crime of stealing that car? In the Bible and according to American law, right? If I stole the car and I gave it to my son, and my son is now in possession, in possession, right? And he knows it's stolen. And he knows it's stolen. Right? Right? He will become conspiring to theft, and he will actually be get charged for stealing this car. Right? Right? You know that you're on stolen land. Right? You are conspiring to theft. And 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 I just seen a. I'm, I don't mean to cut you off. No, no. I just I just seen a thing where it said um, um, this land was not stolen; it was conquered. Yeah, I seen that too. The KKK uh, putting now, that up. But now, but now here's the thing. It was conquered, but they came over here. The pilgrim almost died if it wasn't for the Native Americans that were here and fed them fed the and showed them how to plant and, and fed them. That whole winter when they came here, they almost froze to death. Then they broke 500 peace treaties. They 500 made peace, peace treaties. treaties. Every peace treaty they made, they broke. They, they broke. broke. Then they did it in their hand, in their mother's pocket with the money that Britain was sending them. Mm. Then they didn't even want to pay them taxes. So how was this conquered? Are we still paying taxes to the same people that stole the land? Yeah. It said, "Don't oppress the children of Israel," and that's a law of God, right. right? Let me show you. Let me show you what God said about these children, right? It's Isaiah fourteen and twenty-one. Prepare slaughter. Right. It says, "Prepare slaughter." This is what God wants us to do. This is the justice. This is God is a just God, right? He said, "Prepare slaughter." For his children, yeah, you would be a child of your forefathers that did this to us. For the iniquities, for the sins of, of their fathers. It says, prepare slaughter for you. It says, prepare slaughter for your children. And prepare slaughter for your children's children. All the way down to the fifth generation. Go ahead. That they do not rise nor possess the land. Right, because you are rising and you do possess the land, right? Nor fill the face of the world with cities. Right, and your people fill the face of this world with cities. So the Most High God said, prepare slaughter for these people. God. That's what blacks and Hispanics need to do. For sure, right? Yeah. I agree. And all praises, man. All praises. And this is the thing, man. This is the thing. Our, the, like someone like you from another nation, you would agree. And you would submit to that in that day. You're going to have to regardless, right? But our people, they don't understand this. That's the thing. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, the, the European Caucasian white man, he is accepting himself to be a slave to y'all. He accepts to bow down to you Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians because of what he has, what his fathers and forefathers done to us. But you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians don't want to do what you got to do to bring these people down to their knees. Right. And it's well deserved. We got to prepare. We got to prepare, man. We got to prepare. Right. So you, you, you willing on making the donation so that we can go and eat after this? I guess I could donate a little money, but... Uh, okay. And it's much appreciated because that's something small that you could do, at least for the men of the Lord that's up here. Uh, and there's four of us and we will all like to eat. Uh, that's not going to feed us. I know, huh? but I have rent due like, like next week. And I, I'm a you know that we, we get kicked out of our places, man. Right? I mean, Can we get another $40? Can we get another $40 to feed these four men right here? That's a dollar. That's a dot. That's what? $10 a piece right here, man. $12 for a meal. Right. That's the best you got for us after your people rape, rod, and murder, and you're saying that you're willing to submit to us? All right. And you're not willing on taking a short on your rent? I mean, my father didn't pay his taxes for a long time, and I, I feel like he, you know, he had the right idea, but, like, he suffered for that shit, and I didn't want to suffer like he suffered, but I know now that I need to do that, but it's like, it's like, I just have to work to get the money to be able to work with you guys. And I don't have it right now. You really gave us a crumb. You know I'm, that, right? You said here goes a crumb. On it. I'm just working on it right now, and I don't have a crumb. A lot right now. I $50. I see you got some money in there, man. I know, Give us $40 more dollars so we can I have to pay rent next month. 
Sports. We got to pay rent too. Yeah. Oh, and there's a lot of us that's back on rent, man. Yeah, I'm back. There's a lot of us that's being being evicted. Yeah. See, but you don't have to go through that. You have your rent money. Yeah. You have that, but you're not even willing to go into your rent money. To we got to go on our rent money to pay for tickets that's given to us on this land, man, on stolen land. Yeah. Hey man, this is this is these nations, nations right though, man. There was a time when I really didn't like you guys at all, but I know your heart's in the right place. We, we, we understand. Me. We understand that your people will never I, like us. Well, you would ne your people will always look at us as your enemy, Ezekiel which is which is good. Five. Ezekiel thirty-five and five. I mean, look, like I don't know whether five generations back for me, like that we're guilty of of the sin of the Bible. And that we haven't paid for that sin. You if I knew it, it, if I knew it, did your people sure, ever pay for that? Then I would be more. Did your people ever pay for know, that? Sympathetic. Did your people ever pay for that? Since I don't know, I'm a little bit on the fence about my own personal like liability on it, and that's why I'm not like like gung ho with you guys saying like I am the enemy, you know. You agree I that you are. Yeah. I, I think you should be prepared, and I support you, and I love you as even as my enemy. I love you, but you I, love I us. You, you gave us twenty dollars for four men to go eat. What I, kind, the, you, you did that right? The gift that I have to give is not money. It is the truth. The truth. How are you going to give us the I truth? Can, that's that's the that's what the truth value are you? What I truth have. have you given us? But besides agreeing to the truth, we gave you the well, truth. I'll give right. you the truth. You don't have to believe me. I'll just give it for you for free. But, you know, um, the truth that I see is that the tribe of Israel honors fealty and not genetic inheritance. Genetic inheritance, we were given the land, and God said, kill everybody in that land. And because we didn't do that, it became a, a thorn in our side. Right. You do acknowledge fealty, and I, I respect that. Faithfulness. All right, man. Faithfulness. All right, we see the best he was willing on doing for us, you know what I mean? Is taking the knee and giving us $20. We did. You know what I mean? We did. That's all they got for us, man. That is. That is what it is. It is what it is. Let me let me get let me get let me get um Daniel seven. Daniel seven. Right. Because I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you why you you that's all you have for us. And you really don't have nothing else. I'm gonna show you. Well, yeah. if you want to be think my it's seven enemy, and eighteen. No, it's seven and seventeen. So I'll take it. I'm, I'm I'm gonna give you one more scripture. Right. Let me get Daniel 7 and 18. Huh. Daniel 7 and 18. But the saints of the Most High. The saints of the Most High. The saints are those who made a covenant with Moses in the altar, and the blood was sprinkled on them. These are who the saints are, the Israelites. The saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Right, so you've given us these crumbs, right, and you have nothing more to give us, right? We understand that you have nothing to give us because $20 really don't mean nothing to you. If you don't value the right? truth. Right, because we value the truth. We, the truth. we coming out here to bring out the truth because we value this truth, uh, right? And the truth about it is you're not really, you gave us a crumb, but you're not going to give us everything. Right, you're not going to give us what you need to be given us. Right, until, right. Until you love the truth. Right. So you're you're not going to give it to us because we're going to take it. Right, right. Go ahead. The, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Right. We're going to take it from your people. And we're not going to ask for it. You're not going to give it to us. We're going to take it from you. Go ahead. And possess the kingdom. We're going to possess. It's going to be ours. Including your people, they're going to be our servants, our slaves, right? Forever, even forever and ever. Right. Let me ever. get let me get um Obadiah one and eighteen. We're going to possess this, man, and we're going to take it from your people, and it's not going to be with permission. It's going to be a lot of bloodshed. 
right? Because the only way to recompense bloodshed is with bloodshed. Go ahead. Obadiah 1 and 18. And the house of Jacob right. shall be a fire. Right, the house of Jacob is going to be a fire. That's going to be the so-called Negroes. And the house of Joseph, a flame. That's going to be the Latinos. And the house of Esau. Right. You would be of the house of Esau. You are an Edomite according to the Bible. The house of Esau is going to be for what? For stubble. You're going to be the coal that keeps this fire going. We're going to consume you in a fire. Go ahead. And they shall kindle in them, right? And devour them. I'm going to devour your people because your people devoured us. And there shall be any remainder. There's not going to be no remaining. Salakia. And there shall not be any remainder of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken. It's not because we said it. I mean, we read this Bible, and the Most High God said there's not going to be one of y'all left. It's going to be an extermination. We didn't say it, bro. And this is rightful justice. This is what should happen. Because y'all, your people killed 90% of the Taino population. And then y'all went to the western shores of Africa to pick up the Negroes to replace the, them as slaves for the slaves that y'all killed. So that y'all can build this America. Then they went to Puerto Rico in the 1960s and 50s and shot up 33% of the Puerto Rican women with what they call an operacion and they sterilized the highest sterilization of any group of people were to the Taino Puerto Rican women in Puerto Rico in the 1950s and the 1960s. My mom came here in 61, so she got, so she probably got to say, while this was going on, they were giving black men, they were giving black men, uh, what was it, syphilis with the Tuskegee experiment from 1930 to 1970. This is public, and at the same time, they were doing it to the Guatemalans.